Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to another Skyrim Special Edition video. I'm Alex and in today's video we'll be talking about a couple of mods that are designed to improve the camera of Skyrim. So I have a couple of things that I would like to show you here. The first one is called Improved Camera and it simply improves your camera. Once you install it in the mod manager there's nothing to be configured. It has a configuration file that you can change some settings in but it's not necessary, everything works. And what it does, it basically does a couple of things. It lets you see your body in first person fixes up some clipping issues, there's no more head bobbing, uh, allows you to ride your horse in first person, it also allows you to craft in first person, and basically improve the, improves the controls a little bit, makes the game a little bit better. So that's what improved camera does by default. Now this mod is hosted on Reddit right now, depending on when you see this video it might be host, hosted on Nexus, so make sure you check the thread for any updates. And uh, if you don't know how to mod Skyrim, there's a video in the description that will teach you how to do that. It's very easy, about 10 minutes or so, anyone can do it. So that's what the first mod does, improved camera, pretty cool. Now there's another mod that's called customizable camera, and that one is a little bit more complex, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you that one as well. The second mod, as I said, is called customizable camera, and this is a phenomenal mod, one of the best, if not the best, the most popular ones in my opinion, I used it in my full build. This one does not show you your body in first person, but I don't really care about that. And it can also allow you to zoom out much more, but my value is currently set like this. So this is actually the maximum zoom out that I can do right now. And this one comes packed with a lot of different options. So if you go to mod configuration, you need to have Sky UI for the MCM menus, and you go to customizable camera, you have a couple of tabs here. And you can also save and load different profiles if that's something that you want to do. But basically under the Essentials tab you have things such as Field of View, you can easily change your Field of View, I like playing at 90, it's very comfortable. Horizontal Vertical Position, then you have a Melee Camera and then you have a Range Camera, so you can have different cameras depending on what you have equipped. Uh, things such as Zoom Speed, Increments, Minimum, Maximum Distance, uh, Changing Speed, how fast can the camera change and all this other stuff and you can read these little tooltips uh, in the bottom that will explain what each option does. So that's the essentials tab. Now on the features tab you have things such as hotkeys, additional settings, uh, proper aiming, I suggest you enable that, adaptive crosshair, so if the character is using spells or wielding bows then the crosshair will appear only then, so you have some immersion options I guess. And then you have something that's called adaptive sneaking, you need to check this otherwise it's not going to work and here you can uh, set a different level. So I'm going to show you how that works, I'm going to increase it to let's say about 65, just see the, because the difference is very minor. And then finally after that we have improved controls, so this will basically just improve the camera in third person which is very recommended. So adaptive sneaking as I said, if you go into sneak mode, then you can have a different camera. This can help you with targeting issues if you have some, uh, if you're not able to target something, your character is in the way, so it can be useful. So that's what customizable camera does. Very, very powerful mod. You install it and uh, then simply configure it how you want it to work. So that's it for this quick little mod showcase. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more Skyrim videos, subscribe, check out the playlist. Everything is in the description below and I'll see you guys in the next one.